This is an overview of the simple list menu by Unlimited Elements for Elementor. To get started, drag the simple list menu into Elementor column. What this widget does, it displays your WordPress menu in a list format. Over here in Select menu, we can change between the different WordPress menus because WordPress supports more than one menu. Right now, I'm showing my main menu, and you can see that it has sub items and sub sub items, which are designed differently from the parent items. If you want to show only the parent items, you can play around with the depth. For example, if I change this to one, I will see only one level of menu items. Over here, we can change the menu title. For example, if I want to write over here, main menu, I can write any text I want. And if I don't want any text, I can just turn this off. Menu alignment is for aligning the items themselves. So you can align this any way you like as well. And I'm going to change that back to left and I'll change the depth back to two, for example, just so we can see the sub item under the cart over here. Inside of icon, we can turn on the icon. So we can decide to put an icon for all our menu items. This icon is taken from a website called Font Awesome, which most of you are probably familiar with. But if you're not, you can jump into this website and click on icons. It's called fontawesome.com. Over here, we can select or search for an icon. For example, if I want to add a leaf icon, I just click on that icon and then I need to copy the Unicode. So click on copy Unicode, it's over here. Once you hover over it, it will show a tooltip writing copy Unicode. I've copied it and just pasted it over here. That's the way it works. It cannot work with an icon selector because we need to use the Unicode and the icon selector does not allow that. Over here in icon padding, we can change the padding if you want to space between the icon and the text, so just unlink over here. And for example, I want to add some more right padding I'm using my down or up keys on the keyboard just to space that out so it looks nice. Let's jump into style and see what we have over here. So the first options are for menu title. So let's turn the menu title back on. And over here, we can change the color of this. For example, if I want to make it gray, or maybe I want to make it bigger. And of course, you can change all the typography settings that Elementor allows you to change. We can space between the title and the menu itself. And let's jump into items. Now over here, we have a lot of settings. I'm gonna take you quickly over them. So first of all, typography of the items, padding of the items, and margin of the items. It's the space between the items. Right now, there's no space between them. You can see they're one next to each other. We can change the text color. So for example, if I want, I can make this maybe a gray color and on hover, just make it black, just like that. Item border, so right now you can see there's a subtle border under each one of them, only one pixel, solid gray. Let's change it to black so you can see that. And down here we have all the options for item background, background on hover. So for example, if I change these to black background and a sort of a light gray on hover, we can see the effect starting to take place over here. And we also have an option for current page. So if you're on a specific page, you can highlight that page with a different background color. Inside, inside of sub items, we have sort of the indention going on over here. So you can see it's not aligned with its parent item. And the indention is happening from the item padding. You're going to want to unlink over here. And then you can adjust the left padding. So you can play around with that and you can indent it as much as you want. For example, if you're going to want to change the typography just for the sub item, you can do that as well. So you can see I'm changing only the sub item right now. And you can change all the different settings just for the sub item. So for example, I'll make the, it a black one and maybe on hover we can make it red. And you can see 
you can really, really adjust this to any need that you need for your website design. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.